everybody to Wrestling Rants 901. This is your boy, Brew Americano Mario and Kill Breezy. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Subscribe, I said subscribe. Subscribe on YouTube, baby, where we be at. Also, you know, like us on Facebook, follow us on the Instagram. Yeah, we follow back, folks, so handle it for us. Anyway, Let's kick this off, man. Uh, AEW. AEW, man. Was it dynamite or was it a dud this week? It was dynamite, man. It was dynamite. It, it might have been a. Uh, 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 let me. Really still don't like that name. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, moving mm. on from there, I ain't gonna dwell on the name. It was explosive, man. It uh, was. It man. was definitely explosive. It was. It was the like, first oh. match, man. They want that smoke, man. That first match, man. I'm still hype about that, man. I love a good tag match, man. The Young Bucks uh, a private party, baby. Man, they probably had the little red rope when they come out. Yeah, Excuse that was us. dope. Yeah, oh, yeah. man. Fist bump to security guards. Yes. Whatever. Yeah, that was dope. Man, that was I'm, first of all, I'm going to have to just say what an amazing match. And not only that, private party won in the first round. Of the tag team championship tournament. First round. Beat the Young Bucks. Beat the Young Bucks. Beat the Young Beat Bucks. Beat the Young Bucks. Super Kick Party, baby. Super Kick Party. We got hey, shut man. down. Man. <laughs> that private party was great. Then the Super Kick Party that night. Man. man. It was a shock, man. It was, man. It was a shock. But it was crazy. It go back to what we said last week about AEW. They're not making it. The elite not making it about them. They not. They putting their other talent over. They are. We know they're going to be champions. Yeah. But they getting the other guys a chance to get them put on, oh, yeah. making them bigger, making them better. And that's what's making them so good of a company. Oh, yeah. I mean, shoot. And the, and the private party, they really small guys, man. They are. Really small, but they are very talented. Yeah. And they get them, they can move, they're quick, agile, get on top of that road. Mm -hmm. Like uh, when... Uh, can't think of the dude's name. Uh, I, I can't I, see. I'm gonna have to start learning these folks' names. It's, it's so, so hard. Man. It's like it's, it's, oh. I mean, cause you know they pretty much came out of nowhere. When you say the private party came out of the Indies, they came below the Indies. Man, yeah. Yeah. like yeah. for real. Yeah. So you know, learning their names still don't, gonna be a little. Get we gonna get them. We gonna get. We gonna get y'all names no down. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, I don't think I knew it was on the first match I seen them in. I was like. Okay. You know what that you brought up about them being both and small? They broke the, the traditional black tag team that's been having lately. Cause lately they have a little small guy and a big muscle guy like in prime time, prime time players and street profits. Yeah. They kinda broke them all. It's like both of them doing their thing, flying, moving around. They keep yeah. up the young books. Young books, y'all got some real oh, competition, yeah. Most man. Definitely, man. Man, that was a good tag. But now nah, what am I finna say, uh anyway, don't remember now, I was just gonna say what's the name. <laughs> and y'all will figure it out from there. But yeah, what's his name? Uh, I almost fell off the um, off the off the off the rope, and his uh, and his uh, the other guy was over the rope like this, and he grabbed him, and he was over there like on the and then got back in the ring. I was like, uh, oh wow, oh nice, yeah. <laughs> good match, man. Back and forth, yeah. good tag team care between the two teams. I feel kind of bad. I don't know their names though. Man. I kind of do. I do too. Man. And they're the black guys. Oh, 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 hey. oh. <laughs> we are bad representatives oh, of the black community. We are fellow the community. Jeez. Gosh. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, but they won. And they that's did. all that matters. And they deserve their win. Yes, because man. Because they put on one hell of a show. Yes, it was. Straight up. Yeah. And yeah. which going yeah. into the next match. Oh wait, my bad. It wasn't a match. I thought it was gonna be a match. Chris Jericho. It was Jericho in the in the inner Sammy circle. Sammy yes, Sammy Guevara came out. Well, that's kind of what made me think it was gonna be another yeah, match. Yeah, because I knew they were supposed to be wrestling. Yeah. As a tag I thought it was gonna be a match too, but now I saw the yeah. whole faction come out. Yeah, like oh, this it's different than talk. Or, yeah, they had and LAX, it's, Ortiz, and Santana. They're, they're called and, the uh, inner Jack circle. Swagger, as I formerly known as Jack Hager, currently known as uh, the inner circle. In a circle, as a faction, don't really know if I like the name person. It's going to grow on me. Maybe. It's yeah. going to it's gonna happen too. Huh? But man! Man, that promo. Oh, that promo, man. That was look. a real deal unscripted promo. Man. <laughs> I think he's been waiting to get an unscripted man. promo by his system, man. We Ooh. the people. We the people. 
Oh man. What'd he say, man? Oh my god. I just... He said what? This is what he said. He said, paraphrasing, <laughs> that that was a stupid idea back when Creator came up with it and it's still a stupid not a stupid thing now. Shots fired at WWE. <laughs> All the shots. They throwing dynamite. Just shot the whole fire. All just shots. Just pretty much tore up the entire ring with shots at the whole entire WWE creative man. Like, this man. is why it makes unscripted promos, promoting, or promos and segments so much cooler. Is when you allow your wrestlers to say whatever and respond to the crowd. Yeah, man. You see how he responded to the crowd when they start <laughs> saying we the people. Man, I, I, man. Scripted promos just, they, oh, they're so irritating, man. Yeah. And the inner circle showing that we don't need no scripted promos to be great. Right. They right. showed and proved it. Exactly. Man. <laughs> so, <laughs> promo, oh, man. Get out of here. And that's one of the biggest things where they, they eat does fall short is their everything has to be so tedious. Instead of just allowing oh, wrestlers yeah. to have fun, man. Yeah. And that's mm -hmm. what I'm liking about AEW right now. Wrestlers having fun. And you can tell they're actually joining. I really can tell Chris Jericho's having the time of his life right now. Yes, I do too. You know he's not. I haven't seen him yet going on a Fozzie hiatus yet. I'm waiting on that to happen. If he don't, then that means that maybe man. there was an excuse to get away from WWE. <laughs> Even though, I mean, for I don't think it was an excuse. I think I think he was just part of like, I gotta do this fast thing, Vince. I'll be back eventually. And the whole Chris, you may remember the Chris Jericho cruise? He offered to do the E, but they turned it down. Big mistake again, Vince. Yeah, big mistake. It's all good. It's okay. Jericho went on to greener pastures now. Then he like originally was going out NXT, and then they pulled out or something. Yeah, yeah. Stupid stuff, man. Come on, guys. Because he wanted, you know, because I know. He would have Reed or Wander, he wants some TNA wrestlers, mm -hmm. and, you know, CML, AAA, New Japan, all this other stuff, different groups, kind of like wrestling against each other in like one-off matches Yeah, that wasn't, had no script to anything to it. Anyway, yeah, you know. Big mistake. That'd been a yeah. good promotion for WWE. Good advertising. Yeah, it would have gave him, my, it would have really just gave him the opportunity to say, you know what, we're big, but we can, we can truly... I mean, even though I guess they do work with other smaller farm promotions, indie groups, especially like uh, they work with Evolve, Evolve, um, and um, shoot, uh, the one in Britain, uh, oh, oh, oh. what's the name? Uh, uh, Tom Pesky Dog Deer. We be fucking we're forgetting names today, man. man. We, we make it so, man. Yeah, man, for real. Jeez. Anyway, moving What's on, on, man. Uh, Jimmy Havoc uh, and Darby out. I like oh. Darby. Man. Devil May Cry at wrestling ring style, man. Man, Darby is one of those guys. He's really small, but you really can tell that he uses his love for skateboarding yeah. to his matches and to his whole persona. Plus, it's like you said, he I wouldn't call him Dante. I would say he's more so Nero, though. I, if I had to pick a character for Devil May Cry, if you remind that his person is really kind of rude, he's quiet. Yeah. But um, his style, Devin, man. His style is amazing. Just but don't don't, don't sleep on Jimmy. Man. I'm not gonna sleep on Jimmy. Fifteen years in the game, and I mean that was just to get that opportunity. I yeah. know for him was probably something that he never got, especially being. I mean, fifteen years, man. man fifteen years. Fifteen years in, in, in the wrestling industry, and you know this is really big for him to have a match, and he did not. Failed to deliver. I mean, he delivered. Man. He brought his game. Oh, he brought his A game for this oh, moment. Yeah. Oh, he yeah. showed what he been waiting on. That 15 oh, years yeah. paid off, man. He showed it. Oh, yeah. By folks been slacking on. Like I'm not gonna lie. Like I kind of feel like I thought he might win, but then yeah. I don't know why I did. Because Darby Allen, even when he went against Cody Rhodes, uh, yeah. back at uh Fighter Fest, oh, yeah. definitely like it, like time limit draw, but the, the match was like honestly. Cody should have lost that match. I'm gonna be honest with you. It did not look like he was gonna even. I really thought he was gonna lose. Well, I, I did. I thought he was gonna lose until I saw Darby take that that dive backwards when he landed in the ring. Oh, he hit his back. I was Ooh. like, man, dude. But he got up and he kept fighting. Man, that's. Anybody who does that, man, I give you props, man, because they edge the ring, man. That's pretty hard. It, it 
in your career. Like, he just fell backwards. So, yeah. but man, it was a good match, man. Jimmy Hedrick, Darby Allen, man, those guys, they did their thing, man. And, like, this week's episode, so far, to me, was better because they got, they had better talent so far on this week of Dynamite compared to last week, in my opinion. I don't like MJF personally. No. <laughs> He's such a prick. He's so annoying. I'm just not. I'm just not, I'm not really feeling it. It's like, you were a fake knockoff younger Cody Rhodes. Oh, no, not even Cody Rhodes. He reminds me of a mix of. Uh... Soon, uh, I can't. Man, we having a lot of brain farts right now. Oh, I man. Just, I'm so, just not into MJF so, that much, though. El Patron, that's what reminded me of El Patron, man. I'm just not really into him. I'm not really into him. I'm not really feeling uh, MJF. Shoot, man. uh, the million dollar man, Ted DiBiase, makes you Every suit, every single heel. Great that value tries, version of those guys. Yeah, man. basically. He's pretty much the. The, the, uh, carbon copy of every single heel who says they have money. Sucks. And then it's like he forgets he's a heel. But we I'm not gonna get into the part where he, you know, came out to help Cody or aid Cody at the very end of the, the show. women's match. Tag match. Didn't yeah. have who this week? The women is so much better. No Nyla Rose oh. this week. That's what one thing that made it better. Yeah, soccer, man. Train Rio. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. Um, yeah. For you guys who didn't know that, fun fact. Yeah. Um also that was the uh, what M. Sako, uh, Bay Presley or yeah. Bay Presley? Bay Presley, 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 Britt Baker, Britt and Baker. You know she actually had a black eye after the match. <laughs> really? Yeah, she had shining. Yeah, man. Uh, Britt Baker, MD, shot. who's a real dentist. Yeah. So if Dr. anybody else tell who's a tooth. Doctor Brick Baker. Oh, yeah. a tooth. Yeah, she she got you in real doctor. life. It's not yeah, just she, a gimmick. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's true. She's a real dentist. Yeah, man. So that's cool. Tapped out in the shocker room. Right? Yeah. yeah. match, man. I was thinking that Rio was going to actually. I thought she was going to get the win since she's the champ. But, I mean, fun facts. Or not necessarily fun facts, but observation. Hmm. How small Rio is. In comparison to hell, putting a belt on her, I'll, I'm just gonna say, go out and say, it. maybe, just maybe, you should put the belt on your waist, cause that thing was like looking super big on your booty. I'm just saying, like, like that thing it. was like <laughs> flapping in the wind, like the strap of the belt was just flapping in the wind while she had on her waist. I'm just like, dang, like she little, tiny, kind of like a little tail just swinging. Like, there, like man. just looked a fat, a long. Tail just in the back of her, behind wow, her, just yeah. flapping in the wind. I'm like, man, man. And I mean, traditionally, I guess, you know, that's what you're supposed to do with the belt. But not when it looks like that, man. I'm yeah. just saying, like, just yeah. an observation. And I was just like, yeah, you probably should just carry it like everybody else, man. Because you made that belt look super huge. On and it's a pretty small title. <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, well, you know, she is a very, not a, she's not a very petite woman. I mean, very small. I mean, it's not like she, <laughs> you know, she probably will have to be like four, level five feet, five foot one. I don't know. I'm not gonna hey, guess, but she's a little warm. She's definitely yeah. a little warm. But regardless, the girl can go. Man. Yeah. I mean, shoot. She seems like she represents for the women can go in the ring. I yeah. love it, man. Man, shoot. Let's not get us started there again. Let's not get us started with the age women and wrestling. Let's not man, let's get started. Okay, let's, let's, go nice, let's, go let's go to the next match. Let's go to the next match. Let's go to the next match. Sean Spill? Sean Spears. She said Spills. Oh my goodness. It's one of them days. Man, man. Days. Yeah, hey, Sean Spears versus John Moxley, though. Oh, yeah, uh, Tully Blanchard was there, too. Yeah. You know, man, looking hella old. <laughs> Time ain't been good for that man. Man, some struggles, bro. Over here looking like the, the four horsemen over here looking like. So the four wheelchair bound senior citizens for real, man. I'm yeah, just saying. Time has been rough for that bro. Man, totally, totally, too totally. much partying and they uh Ooh, and then the hey, yeah, that's they, definitely what it is. All that shoot. limousine riding and jet yeah. flying, Will and Dylan, y'all yeah. done too much to slow yeah, down. Yeah, really slow down, man. Now all y'all look like y'all ready to die. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I mean, they, they look they, bad. I'm pretty sure all of them. Bad. This don't mean four horsemen. It mean four ex-wives for all of them probably. Ah, ah, all yeah. Them. Thank you, the boys. Man, but well, anyway, man, let's talk about this match. This man. match. Man. We're Pac on commentary, by the way. Yeah, mm -hmm. man. Bastard. Plus, the bastard. Man, no, was, but the match was good. Bro. Yeah, it was. It was great, I, I had I had feeling it be a good match when I saw it on the card. Because both of you guys are good in the ring. Yeah. Both guys got a chip on their shoulder trying to show the world what how they do. good they are. Right. And it was just one of those matches, like, if you would have blinked, you would have been sad. It was, I mean, in a sense that, like, wow. 
Yeah. You couldn't miss a minute of that. You could not on, man. miss a minute of that match. That match was like near falls, man. Brutal. I mean, it was violent. Back to like what you said with the chip on your shoulder. Oh, yeah. That was definitely, once again, a boulder. Two man. boulders. In the ring, just trying to smash each other, turn each other into a perfect sculpted man, sculpture or something. Sean Spears, he, he's a good talent, man. He's yeah, always the perfect. He's been around man. for a long time. He man, he he deserves this, this time and oh, yeah. to shine, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. And John Mockley, who is last time I heard, he said he's still being insured by the WWE. <laughs> what? Well, probably because his wife still worked there. <laughs> That's a good one to look at. He got a family plan, you know what I'm saying? Like, he said, I ain't taking no losses around here. I ain't taking no losses around here, boy. Yeah, said, family <laughs> plans is a month. Got my wife. <laughs> she work for day. Uh. She getting that money. Uh. And she got that. They don't get health care. Or, wait, they'll do the, um, do the announcer, do the ring. It don't matter. He's still getting insured by him, so I don't think he care what they get. But, I mean. <laughs> I didn't know that. I thought they have him insured, uh, health care. Who knows what they get? They probably. I think he may. I may be talking about the check that he still get from them through his wife. I mean, come on now. We both know that they both share. They sure got. It. I I guarantee you almost they got a joint bank account. So I'm just saying. They, if he if she they do get insurance, they might say I'm good regardless. Regardless. There or not, he getting something from it regardless. My man. And we know one thing. He's getting Renee Young every Ooh. time. Hey. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. But the match was good, man. But you know, after the match over, Kenny Omega, Kenny Omega came out out with a barbed wire broom and baseball bat. And then oh. Pac. Oh man. Bust him us out of here with a chip, man. <laughs> they like that hurt for real. Man, oh, then, my and then goodness, what man. then what Dean Ever told him to leave and pick up the baseball bat. I thought he was gonna use it, but he was kick his ass that bat, man. I thought man, he was on the man. Man. The, on the while he was on the ground, but man. it didn't happen, thankfully. So but I'm ready to see that match, though. Man, you want me to that fight? Beat that. I want to be a fight. That's going to be a fight with them, man. Yeah, man. And the main <sighs> event. Ooh. Dustin Rhodes. Dustin Rhodes. Hey, man. Adam Page <laughs> versus Chris Jericho and the other boy. Sammy Sonny Guevara. Sammy. 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 Guevara. Guevara. Sammy. Sammy. Guevara. Guevara. You do who going to take L for this team. Even then y'all do who he was the one who take the L's. Sorry. No disrespect. <laughs> well he did take the L. Sorry. He he was the he was the he was the fall boy. For real. He really but was the fall boy. Them. They did, but you know he took the most bump, <laughs> he man. Took it. It's Jericho. <laughs> I'm just saying, he took the most bump, <laughs> man. Like look at that group. He was tail. the sacrificial lamb in that match. <laughs> I really <laughs> thought for a minute that he was gonna be the they was gonna lose that match. I was really hoping that's I'm sorry, I look at that group, I look at him like when they lose a match, you the one who get the pinfall. Yep. The dude you surround yourself with, we ain't taking the L. You are. Yeah, you just had all these <laughs> super guys, super strong talents. I mean, don't get me wrong about it. He's great. Yeah. But, dude. I mean, dude, this, dude, that little dude can move, man. He, he can fly. Yeah, can but fly, he ain't on the level of like, Jack Swagger and L.A. is a Jericho. Like, I don't know. So, um, well, I mean, like, but they, yeah, no. I mean, but I'm going to put it this way, team, man. Bro. I got to highlight the Please man. Do. Yeah. Dustin Rhodes, man. Hi. Man. You How old are you? About 87, man? Talking about aging in reverse. He got man, that, he got that, that big blood disease, man. Man, man when it comes to his earring ability, he look old as hell, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but dude, keep the face paint on. Yeah, man. Keep the face paint on, man. You should never took that off. Don't, you just need to just put it all over your face, man. Mm, yes. You look better with it, man, because without it, you looking old, bro. But, we ain't gonna. We, I'm gonna just say this though, man. Your in ring ability is amazing. It is. It's man. like, man, like this is how guys our age, which we move. <laughs> man, cause he's still going. Man, he's still. going like he's back in the attitude every day. Hey, all oh, I man. know is he needs a heavyweight title for you. AEW, please make that happen. Let him he do, that. man. At least let him get the strap one time, just one time. Because he didn't get what he needed he in other company. Never got it in other company. Never got the ECW. Never got it in WWE. Put every single belt on but the big one. Give him the belt, he man. Even his highs of his career, man. That was give cool. him the belt. That gives an idea. What? We are do a top ten of wrestlers who should be world champion. They never was world champion. Oh, I got about five already preloaded. Man, man, me and you both. That's, that's ten right there. Sure. Already. It's so many talent, man. They should have got it. Yeah, man. That's going to be a good count. Five be a top on ten. the top of my that's head. Gonna, that's going to be a great top ten. Because I'm a great wrestler that should have been champion. Yeah. There never but, was. But, but focusing on topic. Yeah. <laughs>
Dustin. Dustin Rose. He is the man. Still. That man uh, he the guy. I mean, no, nah, I mean, we focus. I'm focused so much on him because I just love to see him wrestle, man. Because he still, he's so yeah, I mean, in even in his man. last run in the day, he was like, I mean, when he they allowed him to wrestle, was, when they allowed him to, it was, it was, it was amazing, man. Dude, his matches were still good. Take the fall on the ground and hit that, you know, that throat chop. Then get up there, mm -hmm. man. Hit yep. the boy, close line. He's still agile, man. Man, very agile. Yeah. Can move fast and all that. People, just... this is what happens when you get clean and you start doing your DDP yoga and get in shape. You can end up like gold dust. Man, uh, I'm trying to figure out then, because I do yoga, my knees still hurt. But anyway, that's, a, <laughs> that's another story. But I'm giving that an A plus, man. That was an A plus match. I, I agree, that was an man. A plus plus, man. Like, Thank you, Dustin. Up. Thank you, Dustin, for that. Yeah, that man. performance. I mean, y'all might have took the L, but y'all are winners in my heart. Yep. Then, Especially you. And then Especially the, 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 the part of brawl after the match. Oh yeah, and then man, your boy Darby Allen came out the same boy. Yeah, yeah, that was just it was just so much man, going on. And they but, really built their storylines and they fused yeah, AEW. Yeah, it's picking up yeah. real quick. Yeah, Cody came out. Jen M. Shoot, Darby Allen came out. What he said something? I can't remember what he said. He said something about seeing him next week. I'm not gonna try to quote it because I really don't remember. Well, we just know next week he get a title well, shot. He get so. a title shot next week. You know, he became the number one contender after beating Jimmy Havoc. Which Darby I think it was it. cool to give two guys, different guys from time Yeah, time. I mean, it was, I, I, cool. it was a smart idea. Yeah. And the simple fact that, you know, they, they, we doing that a lot right now. Especially like NXT, they were pretty much, yep. it seemed like every week they pretty much put a belt on the line. Yep. Somewhere, somehow. Mm -hmm. So for them to allow this, I don't believe Darby Allen. I don't think he is, but he's going to do a match, but I don't think he's going to win. He's not going to win. I no. mean, no. They, they're really, really promoting this Chris Jericho versus Cody. I mean, mm -hmm. sorry, uh, yeah, Cody Rose match. So, yeah, we know Jericho so, uh, is a stratosphere right like now. Like I said, it's a good opportunity for Darby. It's going to be a good match for the fans. Oh, yeah. Well, we oh, know yeah. how outcome's going to win. But oh, yeah. As long as I get a good match, I mean, even it's good enough for me. Yeah. Good enough to change for me. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, but, oh man. Dustin Rose, though, man. Dustin, Dustin Rose. Rose. Dustin freaking gold dust. Why is going to be gold dust to me, man? I'm sorry, man. I've always been gold dust. That just rolls off the tongue, unlike Stardust. Which is so ironic. Stardust will, should roll off the tongue since, you know, that's... Anyway, we're not going to go there. Anyway, moving on. I think this is going to call... We're going to call it. We're going to wrap it up. This is the end. The end. The end of the video. So, what as part always, what we'll part of next? As always, Wrestling Ranch 901. Like us on Facebook, Wrestling Ranch 901. Follow Rest, uh, 901 Wrestling Ranch. Flip it around on Instagram. Anyway, also, last but most important, most important, like, share, subscribe. Oh yeah, and by the way, I'm Guru Americano Mario, and this is Kel Breezy. And we out. Y'all have a good day. Later.